Hello! Putting in 50 to 70 hour weeks has its own rewards, but it makes it hard to be a moose hunter. So my son and I uh, did a lot, of, a lot of work. We did a lot of pre-scouting work when we actually had holidays. We uh, did a lot of work down some very narrow, uh, shallow water that we thought was going to be great, but by the time September rolled around, we had to drag the boat, couldn't get up. So that was a bit of a bust, and uh, hunting in ones and two days is just uh, very difficult. So there's still the late season, but it's looking unlikely. I wanted to give my new knife a workout. It's the uh, Groman, made in Canada, Picto, Nova Scotia. Uh, it's the deer and moose knife, nice handful of a knife. Be great, make great sweeps for gutless skinning. Wanted to show you that. Um, but uh, maybe caribou, uh, maybe moose, but I doubt it. I'm just uh, running out of time. But we would like to show you what uh, this weekend, the last weekend's hunt. This weekend I had no time, was uh, working with a group of kids. We created a little college for in Dawson City. It was very successful, a lot of fun in its own right. We even taught paddle making, which if you look at my videos, you'll see that that's something that uh, we did this summer. Kids had a great time, grade, grade 10 to 12s in all of our northern schools, so that was fun. But uh, moose hunting for me was a bit of a bust, and my son, maybe next year. Have a good day. Here's what we did last weekend. There's our friend the beaver. We spotted him on shore. Oh, there he splashed. Hope you saw that. There's a boy with the Neo Air, some of our favorite gear. And we've set up our tent. And this is a See an old abandoned cabin, even more abandoned cabin, and a broken down storm cellar, root cellar. Here are the geese. It's been quite a trip. Nice moose tracks here, but we called yesterday, we called today, and uh, not getting any answers. 